Hello, Gem Hunter. If you take a closer look, you'll notice this rock has a diamond inside it. But how did that diamond end up trapped in this solid rock? And more importantly, could you find a rock like this out in nature? The answer lies in a natural process that's been occurring since the dawn of time. And yes, with the right knowledge and a little bit of luck, you can find a rock like this in the wild. But did you know this isn't the only type of rock that hides precious gems inside? There are many other types of rocks that contain valuable stones such as emeralds, diamonds, tourmalines, aquamarine, rubies, sapphires, topaz, and so much more. So in today's video, we're going to talk about these special rocks and their unique characteristics so you can identify them if you ever come across one in the wild. By the end of this video, you'll be able to determine whether these gemstone-bearing rocks exist in your region. Rocks that have always been there, but have gone unnoticed until now. And remember, if you subscribe and like this video, more content like this will come your way. Most of the gemstones we find today originated within volcanic rocks, known as the matrix rocks for these minerals. Commonly referred to as igneous rocks, these formations solidified from magma that cooled and transformed into solid rock. When geologists talk about igneous rocks, they are specifically referring to these volcanic origin formations created from magma generated in the Earth's mantle and crust. Magma consists of partially melted rocks, and its formation can occur due to various factors, such as an increase in temperature, a decrease in pressure, or changes in chemical composition. When a volcano erupts, this magma is expelled to the surface, carrying a mix of minerals with diverse characteristics, sizes, and compositions. This process is how gemstones like diamonds are brought to the surface. A recent example of this phenomenon was the eruption of the Cumbre Vieja volcano on La Palma Island, part of the Canary Islands, in 2021. This volcanic activity was preceded by numerous earthquakes, allowing for the preventive evacuation of some areas before the lava flow reached inhabited regions. The lava carried a rich variety of minerals, showcasing how natural events can uncover valuable treasures hidden deep within the earth. Among the main types of volcanic rocks where gemstones can be found are kimberlite, basalt, rhyolite, pegmatites, and schist. Each of these rocks has distinct characteristics that can host precious gems, including coveted diamonds. Observing and identifying these rocks is often the first step for those seeking to find gemstones. So keep an eye out for volcanic rocks in your area. Who knows? You might discover a hidden treasure closer than you think. The most popular and fascinating of the volcanic rocks that host gemstones is undoubtedly kimberlite. This rock forms from fragments of other rocks and minerals originating from the Earth's deep mantle, giving it a distinctive breccia-like appearance, often in dark tones such as black. However, it is important to note that kimberlite is not a single specific type of rock, rather it is a complex group of rocks with varying compositions and characteristics. Due to this complexity, some kimberlites feature embedded stones that appear to be from other origins, and their appearances can vary significantly. However, kimberlite is the primary carrier of diamonds, transporting them from the Earth's mantle to the surface. This rock can host a variety of minerals, including the highly sought-after diamond. An impressive example is when a kimberlite is discovered with a diamond embedded in it, showcasing the true potential of these remarkable rocks. Now imagine walking along and stumbling upon a rock with a small, sparkling crystal embedded in it. Upon closer inspection, you realize it's a diamond. However, it's important to note that not all kimberlite contains diamonds. Only a small fraction is diamondiferous, and an even smaller percentage has commercially viable deposits for extraction. According to the database at mindat.org, a project of the Hudson Institute of Mineralogy, there are over 6,500 known occurrences of kimberlite worldwide. Of these, approximately 900 are diamondiferous, but less than 1% of those contain commercially viable diamond deposits. In the United States, kimberlite has been found in several states, including Arizona, Arkansas, Colorado, Kansas, Michigan, Montana, New York, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Utah, Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. If you're in one of these regions, it might be worth exploring the area for these formations. Who knows, you might be lucky enough to find a kimberlite with a diamond embedded in it. 
Another fascinating formation where gemstones can be found is pegmatite, a type of igneous rock with extremely coarse grains. These rocks stand out visually due to their large mineral crystals, often appearing in dark tones like black, but with a wide range of compositions. Among pegmatites, those of granitic origin are the most common and frequently encountered. They can occur in veins, which are like filled cracks within rocks, varying in shape and size. Some pegmatite veins are truly impressive, stretching for kilometers in length, while their width usually does not exceed five meters. These veins contain essential minerals such as quartz, feldspar, and mica, which are distributed fairly evenly throughout the pegmatite structure. Additionally, pegmatites are often rich in precious gemstones like emeralds, aquamarine, and tourmalines. A striking example is the extraction of aquamarine from pegmatite veins, where these stones are found embedded in the host rock. If you pay close attention to these formations, especially in rural areas, cliffs, or even along roadsides, you might be standing before a natural treasure. Pegmatitic rocks can indicate the presence of gemstones in the region. It's worth keeping an eye out for these formations and perhaps exploring further. You never know what you might find. In the United States, California's pegmatite deposits are especially renowned for their gemstones and rare minerals, including tourmaline, spodamine, morganite, aquamarine, topaz, and spessartine. One of the most notable locations is the Pala District in San Diego County, where at least 400 pegmatite veins have been identified. These pegmatites are particularly rich in lithium-bearing minerals, attracting miners and collectors from around the world. If you're exploring California or any other area known for significant pegmatite occurrences, it's a great opportunity to observe these unique formations and, with some luck, discover a precious surprise. Now, continuing with our list, we arrive at Rhyolite, another light-colored volcanic igneous rock often compared to granite. While similar to granite, rhyolite is characterized by its fine grain and high density. Its colors can range from gray, reddish, pink, and black to, in some cases, green, showcasing its diverse compositions. In nature, rhyolite is found in geological formations that often host minerals such as zircon, rutile, and apatite. However, the presence of these minerals depends on the local soil composition and other geological factors that favor the formation of these gemstones. When rhyolitic magma reaches the surface and cools rapidly, it can form volcanic glass, better known as obsidian, a fascinating material used in ancient tools and modern jewelry. In the United States, rhyolite is widely found in geologically significant locations. Some of the most well-known deposits include Yellowstone National Park. This region is famous for its rhyolite deposits formed after a series of massive volcanic eruptions approximately 600,000 years ago, Round Top Mountain, Texas. This site hosts a rhyolite intrusion rich in heavy rare earth elements and yttrium, making it especially interesting for mining. Cortez Hills, Nevada. This area features a rhyolite dike swarm stretching about 40 kilometers in length and six to 10 kilometers in width. Rhyolite, Nevada, located in Nye County at the northern end of the Amargosa Desert, this area is a notable example of rhyolite formations. In addition to its geological significance, certain types of rhyolite have commercial value and are sold as varieties of jasper. A fascinating example is leopard jasper, which is actually a type of rhyolite with a distinctive pattern resembling leopard spots, making it popular in jewelry and mineral collections. If you're in an area with rhyolite occurrences, it's worth paying attention to these formations and looking for the minerals associated with them. The diversity and beauty of this rock can conceal unique gemstones. To better prepare, you might want to note the names of the gems mentioned in this video. Look up pictures and videos to learn how to identify them in their raw state or get our digital gemology guide for beginners available in the first link of the description. This guide compiles all this information in one convenient place. Basalt is a dark colored volcanic rock, finely crystalline and widely found in the Earth's crust, serving as the primary component of the oceanic crust. Its characteristic appearance can vary, but fully black basalt is one of the most common, often resembling iron ore, though it is significantly lighter. Another intriguing variety is porphyritic basalt, 
which features large crystals formed early within the finer grain matrix of the rock. This texture gives basalt a unique appearance, setting it apart from the homogeneous, completely black type. Beyond its visual variations, basalt can host embedded precious gems, such as corundum, rubies and sapphires, zircon, and garnets, which come in a wide array of colors. A striking example is a garnet found embedded in a basalt block, standing out as a true natural treasure. Another gemstone associated with basalt is olivine, a green mineral that, when translucent, is known as peridot, a highly prized gem. When basalt is rich in olivine, it is called pacritic basalt, which has a distinctive appearance, often filled with small cavities that give the rock a perforated look. This specific type of basalt can be found in famous volcanic formations, such as the lava flows of Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa in Hawaii, two of the largest volcanoes in the world. In addition to gemstones, basalt often contains volcanic glass, formed when lava cools very rapidly, as well as cavities created by gases trapped during the cooling process. These features make basalt a geologically rich and visually fascinating rock. If you're exploring areas of volcanic origin, pay close attention to the different types of basalt. The diversity of this rock can reveal not only valuable information about the volcanic history of the region, but also hidden gemstones waiting to be discovered. Schist, a metamorphic rock, forms from sedimentary layers subjected to high temperatures and pressures. While not an igneous rock, its formation requires extreme conditions, allowing the development of fascinating crystals like rutile, tourmaline, pyrite, and titanite. These features make schist a rock of great interest to geologists and mineral collectors alike. Visually, schist often displays dark gray or silvery gray tones with a metallic sheen. This distinctive appearance is sometimes enhanced by embedded gemstones such as tourmalines, emeralds, and other precious stones. However, due to its fragile nature and the depths at which it is typically found, deep mining is often required to extract the finest gemstones from this rock. If you've noticed soil or rock formations exhibiting these characteristics, it may be worth investigating further. Schist can hold hidden treasures, and even if these gemstones are not found in their original matrix, that doesn't mean they can't be discovered elsewhere. Many gemstones of volcanic or metamorphic origin, such as diamonds, sapphires, and garnets, can detach from their matrix rocks due to erosion and the natural movement of the Earth's crust over millions of years. The passage of time, combined with factors like wind and water, carries these gems far from their original source. As a result, it's not uncommon to find precious stones in riverbeds or other alluvial deposits. Rivers act as natural pathways for these gemstones, accumulating treasures along their courses. Exploring river areas can lead to the discovery of diamonds, sapphires, and garnets that may have traveled long distances and are now waiting to be found. But how do you identify these stones? At the end of this video, you'll see links to other videos on this channel that explain in detail how to search for gemstones in the rivers near you. Combining your knowledge of matrix rocks with river exploration is the key to uncovering these gems in your area. As I mentioned earlier, if you want all this knowledge organized in a single, easy to access resource, you can get the ebook Gemology Journey for Beginners available through the first link in the description of this video. This guide is designed specifically for beginners, offering detailed descriptions of the characteristics of various gems so you'll know exactly what you found. I also recommend watching the video now appearing on your screen where we showcase the main gemstones you can find in rivers. This information applies to waterfalls, streams, small creeks, and even beach sands. Thanks for liking and subscribing to the channel. Good luck, Gem Hunter.